Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Um, we are going to check out a little point of interest. I uh, explained it in the previous episode, but that was like the, you, you visit Prague twice in this game and you can buy information from um, an information dealer for Neuroposine. Uh, you have to pay in Neuroposine. And um, that's the, if you don't buy it, the information available in the first Prague visit, and then you leave Prague, it will not be available once you return to Prague, which we are now, where we are now uh, at in the game. We return to Prague. So, but I'm just, I want to check out that point of interest anyways. I cannot buy it anymore from the information dealer, but I checked out on the uh, Deus Ex Wiki. And this is the one, every, I'm reading it now, every little helps. The pocket secretary from the information seller contained part of a message that mentioned a work area locked away from the public near my apartment building. It's probably nothing, but there might be stuff down there worth salvaging into something useful. This point of interest is given by data file tool purchased from Casatel. On the north side of the Zellen apartments, Look for an alley behind a Sarif Industries van and make your way through the door to enter the underpass. The hell is an underpass? It's a link. The underpass is location accessible from Pekaska, which is principally located underneath uh, the railroad separating Siskat Street and Kaska. This area includes an abandoned tourism center. Okay, I know where it is. Um, if you have the EMP shielding, you can simply walk down the left side area and use the codes 9002 to get in. If you do not have the EMP shielding, you can either try to run for the breaker at the end or punch the vent that is behind the large crates to get into the room. So we need to get to an alley north side of Salem Apartments, an alley behind the Sarif Industries van. Alright, let's first get back to the apartments. We are not that far away from it. Such cool graphics. Check it out. Velociraptor on wheels. This was also already ransacked as well. It would be cool if it was ransacked in between the first and second visit. Yeah, I do remember this location. This was part of a uh, side mission. And again, the glitch is still persistent. That rectangular purple thing down below that's following me around. That box, I think, as well. I think that's just some remnant from a previous underground area that somehow got attached to Jensen. Probably we already read these, so just opening them to be sure. But I don't get any experience points when I close them, so that means I've already read them. Because new ones do give experience points. Check it out. Even these light bulbs, they're like moving a little bit. Nice little details. Alright, um, I have to be a little bit more focused because also in the previous episodes uh, 
Um, I went from everywhere to nowhere without really any rhyme or reason. I'm easily distracted. Anyways, here are the challenges. We need to get to the northern part. So, this is Zellen, and then there's an underpass. Yeah, I assume this is the underpass. And then we will be looking for the Cerif Industries event. A goddamn clank. Here, the Sharif Industries fan. There is the alley. Oh, I'm curious. How is this? <laughs> ah, I already uh, was in here in an earlier side mission. Need to check it out. Already did it, and I apparently already deactivated whatever was here from electricity that was mentioned in the online description. So make your way, uh, look for an alley behind the street in the street fan, and make your way through the door to enter the underpass. Oh. We first need to make our way through a door. Ah, I already uh, deactivated the electricity because this is the breaker, uh, circuit breaker, I guess. And this would be, I think, the door. So now we are below the underpass. Ah, I already uh, cleared it out up here. Earlier. If you do not have the EMP shield, you can either try to run for the breaker at the end or punch the vent that is behind the large crate to get into the room. Yeah, so okay, I already uh, found this point of interest earlier by myself because looking at those. Alright, then now we are going to... Ah, there's actually... Ah, no, this is another one. This is what I wanted to say. Now we are going to the actual two active points of interest. The information I bought from that same guy, but during the our current second visit of Prague. Yeah, let's do first this one because that was also on the map we are close by over here good cop bad cop another faceless message from Castel, the information seller hopefully i'm not wasting my time checking out small leads like this the pocket secretary he gave me mentioned a cop the cop up to something mysterious in prague why am i not surprised the cop was talking with someone named jacinta and mention an apartment near Maxim's, above the cleaning place. Right. Let's not try uh, to use the map. Actually, try to find it naturally by exploring the city. We are looking for some apartments near the cleaning place. Ah, uh, let's use the map anyways, quickly, because otherwise I'm going to, yeah, I think we need to take the, um, railway to get to the other side of, uh, the underpass. Don't think there's a way to just walk to the other side. Well, 
this may be through underground. What the hell is this? Ah, that's a landmark. The Zellen apartments were once highly luxurious but have recently fallen on a hard time. Since the incident, the neighborhood surrounding this old building has fallen into disrepair. Man, I didn't even know there were landmarks. Let's read them. Cape Chapek Fountain Station is named after the water future in the square at the metro's exit. Chapek Fountain. Time Machine is a second hand bookstore owned by Vaclav Koller. That's the uh, augmentation specialist. It's a body of uh, Adam. This avant garde, the velvet rope, this avant garde sculpture is an homage to the velvet revolution and a reminder that when oppression is a constant threat, a city is only as strong as its weakest link. Monument Station, recently deemed a UNESCO heritage site, is the busiest of all Prague metro stations. Tech Noir, the premium technology shop in Prague. The Palace at Property Bank is the world's premium data storage facility. Palace at Station, renamed after the construction of the Palisade. Property Bank Palace at Station is the entry into the business hub of the city. Still, really have to get used to a new apartment, new chair, etc. Um, the Bolzano Monument, a monument dedicated to Bernard Bolzano, a Bohemian mathematician, logician, philosopher, theolo theologian, and Catholic priest. Known for his paper, The Paradoxes of the Infinite. Pilgrim Station is well known for its elaborate advertising used to dazzle the heavily traveled touristic center of the city. Red Light District, along with art and culture, the Red Light District is one of the main draws for tourists in Prague. Just like in Amsterdam, which I know quite well, because I've lived there. Um, anywho, I wanted to see if I can get through the sewers. Oh, this is probably... Let's try it anyways to see if I can get to the other side of the underpass below grounds. I don't think so. I think I just need to hop into the uh, metro and then get to this station over here. But let's check it out anyways. So we are going straight on and at the little pass here to the left yeah, that's near that road and then here we are going underground it's pretty funny i think that's like a, a play on uh, that film with leonardo dicaprio inception This Dallas Move along and do not interfere. You guys, the kill earlier. Man, that's a pretty big bag of cookies. Almost as big as a chair. Almost. I'll go back to my thing. Ah, rental. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. 
Atomic It's amazing art style, but the textures of these posters, they're just a little bit too sharp, too clinical. They need to be more weathered to be believable against the uh, rough wall behind it. Man, I need it. There are more examples of that in this game. Just like these number uh, signs. They're just a little bit too Mom, yeah, so to say to weird to say, but too sharp and too clean. This is much more believable, more rough, more weathered in an old city like Brian's. Anyways, uh, we are going over here. Ah, I already have the coat. Man, the hacking mechanic also been a really long time since I did that. Yes, there should be... Here it is. Way in the ground. Finding this guy. Now, what direction are we going? Manager's office. Which building is that? I guess the uh, the bookstore. Alright, but we are going. Uh, there's even an elevator there. Let's check it out. Out of curiosity, I think I've already been here. But uh, ah, it's actually closed. Oh. Ah, now it's not. This is Taylor. No, we will get back to that later. This is not a way to get to the other side of town. That was my plan, but we are going in the wrong direction and it actually ends up in Colors basement shop. So let's get to the uh, You are Seki Sekni Kritsu Pekatska. Gazer Bay. Really weird. Gazer Bay sounds like French. Old Prague, Hostel and Hotel. Alright, here we go. Look within for her. Here we go. You don't look like the other ogs around here. A little higher class. Better watch yourself in this district. Someone might try to strip you for parts. Better watch yourself in this district. Someone might try to strip you for parts. That's, that's pretty intimidating. Alright, it is a Chadwick fountain, whatever it was called. Nice equipment. Look, whatever it is, I cannot help you. No activity. Just keep Let moving. Them deal with it themselves. <sighs> no loitering, sir. We need to keep the checkpoint area clear. Either clear the checkpoint area or pass through. All right. Very cool. Also detailed. Those helmets are opening. Little 
Right, here we go. We are going... Where are we now? We're over there. Let's get to... Special guests, Miyashia Akim and Dr. Stansfield Christiansen, Pikes Group News Channel. Tune in for the Restoration Act debate, also available for streaming at pikes.ntl. Keep your eyes, just to give them a hand. Pilgrim Station, Chapek Station, Monument Station. Right, folks, that is us. Sin Eater, rejuvenating the more genre, the best detective in years. Rogue Hands, Emma Thorne, Shet Hudson. Right, I'm not sure whether we are now in the location of the... Yeah, good call, bad call. This is what we uh, were looking for. We need to find an apartment, a roof, a cleaning outlet. There's an apartment over there. Man, it's so cool. This art design, like this right, old city. Friends with modernity are mixed up with modernity. The premises are secure. Continue in general control mode. Alright, but where? Oh, 
They said you were coming, the machine man. When the city falls, the machine man will come, and here you are. They have planted the seed, but if the flower blooms, the world burns, machine man. They have planted the seed, but if the flower blooms, the world burns. Apparently I was already in there, I think, earlier. Dropped it on his head. By the way, why can't I just open up the door here? Hey, there's also a uh something. 
something mysterious. Right, I have no idea whether I have a rebreather. Trying to talk with him, it's pretty cool. He's just passing out. <laughs> kind of a fashion shop. You interested in some hacking Great. software, maybe? Ah, no, that's like a technology. Uh, Multi tools for sale inside.
no, this is Palisade Station. I'm totally in the wrong area. Because we came from back here. Right on board. Pilgrim Station. of you know, each hackable object will be marked in-game 
permanently. Like any radio, they all get like uh, b button prompts, like, hey, you can hack this, which totally gets you out of the um, experience. So I am, usually there are more ways to get something done. So uh, I want to avoid taking that option. Usually there are more ways than one to get something done. Here, Icarus Dash. The Icarus Dash and mutation allow users to propel themselves horizontally at great speed across a short distance, whether on the ground or in the air. It achieves this by generating an electromagnetic pulse wave behind the user, which applies pressure evenly across the user back. It's highly recommended that the user already be in forward motion before triggering the system. I'm afraid I need really need remote hacking for this okay, game. But Maybe I can enable it and then afterwards disable the augmentation. Unless I can get those ledges, then I'm good as well. That means I have to carry something to take off there. Another one. the 45 man I really have to talk much softer I'm in a new apartment and I think the walls are super thin and I have quite some neighbors um, anywho below me and above me um, I am going to retry this in the next episode guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you there for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming see you later